Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today we have our uh, our Model 3, which has a, uh, a noisy front end issue. Go ahead. So we are going to take a look inside the garage, take the wheel off, and see what is causing that. All right, so we have the Tesla up on the lift, and... We basically figured out that it is the upper ball joint, and I can kind of show you that. I'm going to hug the wheel so you can hear that. Okay, now, why does that happen? One, this vehicle has 70,000 miles on it, but also there is a, a little bit of a design flaw, and I'll show you by using a bottle of water. So if it starts raining, and you're driving around, what happens? That water drains out on your entire suspension system like uh it's probably a really bad design most cars do have a hose that comes down follows the body down to the bottom that's the correct way to do it that way it doesn't get on your suspension so what happens is up here in the northeast we have a lot of salt uh, from the snow and ice and stuff throughout the winter so all that snow and salt falls around here now the other thing is this is a sealed system so we can probably get a good shot of it from the top so there's no cap so there's no way to actually inject grease into this fitting to put grease onto that ball joint that's making that horrible creaking noise so anyway uh we are going to get a uh, a grease needle and we're going to inject into the rubber boot some grease and hopefully that will quiet that down so uh stay tuned all right, so basically how we're gonna do this is you need a grease gun. So this is a uh, performance tool grease gun. And then you're gonna need a performance tool grease injection needle. Just to kind of give you an idea of what that is. So you open up your grease gun. So that is your grease fitting. And then I like using the, the red heavy duty grease. It's kind of like a red marine grease, so it'll stand up to the salt and stuff. So you basically take the top of the grease, you pop this can lid here, and you put that in there. So that is your, your grease. And then what you are doing is you're pulling this back, and that should lock in place. And then you're sim simply putting your cardboard end down, and then your ring part is gonna be at the top. Basically putting that in like that. And then you are pushing this together. Then that is your grease gun, as your grease fitting. And then hold this lever, and then open up on that. And then that is how your grease gun is ready to go. And then a lot of people don't know that this actually unscrews and then that tightens down onto your fitting. So with the needle, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Now be careful because this is a needle. So we're going to put that down. And it's kind of like a miniature grease fitting if you've ever seen them. So that's the top of what your grease fitting looks like. And we're going to put that down there. I'm going to screw this down nice and tight then you are ready. So again, be careful, this is very sharp. Okay, so we're gonna go over to our Tesla. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole on this side and then we're gonna kind of make a vent hole on this side. So what we're gonna do is just use the, the needle unattached and I'm going to make... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a small vent hole in here so this grease can escape or let some air out. So we're just gonna put poke a small little hole in there. That's all there is to it. And then we are gonna attach this to the grease fitting. We're gonna tighten this down. We're gonna take the cap off and we're gonna be super careful handling that. And then we are going to open up the, the grip on that. Then we're gonna basically pump it till the grease starts coming out. Okay, 
Okay, so that's grease coming out. Okay, we'll clean that off. And we're just gonna poke this in through that part of the boot. that in. We're going to give it a couple shots. And we're going to keep an eye on the back side so when the grease starts coming out on that side we know we're done. Okay, so we put enough grease in there. Didn't come out the other side, but it doesn't necessarily have to come out the other side. And make sure that you put your cap on your needle so you don't hurt anybody with that. And we'll put that off to the side. Okay, so we got the needle out, and basically what I do is I just kind of like to clean it up a little bit, but let's just move that wheel back and forth and uh, our sound. Our squeak has gone away. So let's bring it on the road and we'll spin it around, dry away a couple times and we'll show you uh, that there's no noise and this was a also, pretty easy fix. make sure that if it has started to squeak, that there is gonna be some wear on this upper ball joint. And how you can kind of like tell is you grab the wheel this way and you are gonna be like wiggling it back and forth. One that is gonna test for a bearing issue as well as your ball joint issues. Now, you don't want to have any movement when you're pulling it back and forth this way. When you're pulling it this way back and forth, you don't want to like over pull either way, but you just want to kind of like rock it back and forth and then see if you feel any movement or anything else. But again, this is kind of like a temporary fix. This upper control arm will have to be replaced at some point, but this is a good way to make it last longer and to make sure that you don't have any, any issues. And, uh, as a preventive, we are going to go on to the passenger side and basically do the same thing, just to grease the upper ball joint. Also, another thing to look for to make sure your ball joints are actually good is you want to make sure that your tire is wearing evenly. If you have any type of inner tire wear, uh, that is a good sign that your ball joints are, are failing or wearing and you need to replace them as well. So always make sure to check that. And you can easily do that by inside your car. Just turn your wheel all the way to the out, outside. Then you can check the inside of the tire really well. I mean, you can kind of get a good idea by looking in here as well. But you want to make sure that you turn it and inspect your tire on your driver's side. And then on your passenger side, basically do the same thing. Just pull the tire, turn it all the way to the outside so you get a really good look at uh, the tire wear. Uh, it's also a really good telltale sign. If you have any underlying suspension issues, if the upper or your lower ball joint is wearing uneven, that will give you a really good idea. And this one has the, the split lower control arm. But anyway, and as you can see and hear, completely squeak free. All right, Raj Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe out there.